I think the temptation, because we're doing something new in life, that we often think to ourselves, you know, I need to make all these plans. I need to do this and this and this and, and set all this up. And, and nothing wrong with making plans. But we have to give room for God because he can change our plans. And not to go, ah, you know, <laughs> things aren't working out like I have planned. First, we want to make sure we commit our plans to the Lord, pray about them, tell him about what you would like done, <laughs> right? I do. Not that it works out that way, but <laughs> I do tell him what I would like to have, my plans. The unit I've found is most of the time his plans are better. And at first, sometimes because of the chaos or the delays or the, the different things that happen, you think, uh, this is just not good. This is hard. But at the end, it's like, this is great. Oh my gosh, why was I worried? <laughs> so commit your plans to the Lord. Let him lead you. And, you know, life's an adventure. If we just kind of say, yeah, I'm going to just keep going with the flow on it, and I'm going to keep my, my faith and keep my eyes on him. And when it's not going the way I'm thinking it should go, that's okay. I trust my Father, and I hope you do too. Blessings.